Stop, shoot, go. For nearly 40 years, former Des Moines Register columnist Chuck Offenberger has reported on the uniqueness of Iowa girls basketball. In Iowa, unlike any other place in the country, I believe, you can have five generations and now possibly six in the same families who the women have all played basketball when they were in high school. And the game itself became a glue that cemented generations in families and in communities. Sisters Vivian Duchesne and Zola Mullenbach were part of that glue. They played for Little Cedar High School near the Minnesota border in the 1920s and 30s. When I wanted to stay and practice shooting baskets, uh, I would ride Danny down, I'd ride my pony down, and I'd tie him in the church yard across from the school, and then uh, I could stay and practice all by myself. I mean, we were stronger girls. We were used to milk. I was used to milking cows and working in the field, and I think it made us stronger and probably faster. And I know Dad was always, you know, great for us girls to what we were doing, you know. I know he used to put up a hook on the barn, and we'd stand with a little ball probably and just throw it and, and play it like that. 60 years before Jan Jensen was playing for Elkhorn Kimbleton High School in the 1980s, her grandmother was sinking baskets as the star forward on her own team. I think that's probably the coolest thing for me is that I got to share that whole experience with, with my grandmother. And uh, her name was Dorcas Anderson. Uh, but I think the most unique aspect is that uh, her nickname was Lottie because she scored a lot of points. She uh, played in the 1920s for Audubon High School. After high school, Jensen went on to become an All-American at Drake University and today is the associate head coach for the University of Iowa women's basketball team. Jensen's story is shared by many Iowa families. It was fun to hear my grandmother's comparisons. And, uh, you know, she always loved the competition and the winning. But the hang-up she had was uh, we, we showed too much skin with our uniforms because she wore the bloomers, you know. Another family legacy belongs to Sandy Van Cleve, considered by many to be the finest all-around six-on-six player of her time. Van Cleve was a member of the Montezuma squad from 1967 through 1971, playing for coach Carol Rugland. During her high school career, the team won a record 89 straight games and back-to-back -back state titles. Ironically, when Van Cleve was in grade school, Montezuma had considered dropping the girls' team altogether. Her mother, Mavis, who had played basketball for Gibson High School in the 1930s, wanted her youngest daughter to have the same opportunity. She went to the meeting, and when she was there, the superintendent of the school said, Mavis, what are you doing here? You have two cheerleaders. <laughs> and she goes, well, I hope someday to have a basketball player, because that's what, you know, I enjoyed it, and I hope that Sandy will get to play. So I think she saved it. I feel like she maybe did. They kept it going anyway. <laughs>